Welcome to Dell Technologies Power Protect Data Manager version 19.6 How to Series SQL Centralized Restore in Power Protect Data Manager version 19.6 Reference Dell Knowledge Article Number 179910 This video presents the SQL Centralized Restore feature added into Power Protect Data Manager version 19.6 as it discusses its benefits and describes its use. Presented in this video demo, SQL Centralized Restore is a solution newly added into Power Protect Data Manager version 19.6. This is used to restore SQL Virtual Machine App Aware databases and files. The main point is we will be able to restore the SQL databases to a running SQL, which may or may not be a part of a policy. SQL Centralized Restore has a lot of benefits, like Centralized Management, it centralizes SQL backups and restores which provides simplicity and ease. As it offers the ability to restore SQL database to alternate server from Centralized Restore. No scripting is required which reduces database admin's workload. And no need to install SQL Server Management Studio on each SQL host. SQL Centralized Restore is capable to restore simple and multiple databases backed up by SQL Virtual Machine Direct Protection Policy to SQL servers running in VMware. Also it is capable to restore backup virtual machine image or files from virtual machine image backup like MDF and LDF files. As well as the capability to restore to virtual machines not even a part of any policy. Please note that we can backup tail log in single database restore, but we can't restore it in multiple databases restore case. We have to restore destinations, restore to here the original database, which could be used when SQL virtual machine is protected by power protect data manager virtual machine app aware policy and it is used for operational restore and disaster recovery. And the other option is to restore to alternate database. It is used for dev test refresh and restore rehearsal. We have three options to choose the database file location. First one is restore to the original file path and name. Where the file system paths must exist and the file names must not be in use. Secondly, restore to the SQL instance defaults location. And third one is to restore to custom location where user can specify one path for data files, one path for log files. Of course, file system paths must exist. This will be discussed further in the demo. Instead of going to the client and install the Microsoft application agent, now you can install it from the Power Protect Data Manager graphical user interface without going to the SQL client itself. By going to Infrastructure, Assets, choose Virtual Machine, click on More Actions, Install Agent But, before you install it from Power Protect Data Manager, Make sure that you set credentials before installing the agent to avoid credentials error. We have some limitations on the current version that SQL centralized restore is limited to database level restore and we will add table level restore and instance in the next releases. And currently there is no support for quick recovery in Power Protect Data Manager version 19.6. Let's have a quick demo to have a detailed view about SQL centralized restore new feature in Power Protect Data Manager version 19.6. Here is a backup already created for a SQL virtual machine that we will apply SQL Centralized Restore on. Start SQL Centralized Restore by going to the Recovery tab, and for the first time we will see in version 19.6 SQL option. Click on Restore and check for a single database restore so we can select full backup to restore, also we can use the point in time option. We have the option to select destination host, SQL instance and database. I will choose this host and this instance. And then we'll proceed with selecting from the file location options either the first one to restore to the same location where it has been backed up, or second option to restore to the location where SQL configurations had been done, or the third option which will restore to a specified location for the database files. Then click Next.
Select options. You can overwrite database or tail log. Also you can enable debug log and we can change the recovery state. Restore with recovery means that the database will be in an operational mode. Restore with no recovery means that database will be in maintenance mode. Last step is to show restore configuration summary. Second scenario is restoring multiple databases, not a single database. In this case we have a limitation that we cannot choose the backup file, we will have to use the latest available copy. Then click next to select destination where you can choose the host and the SQL instance. We have the same set of options for the file location selection. And we have the same options expect the option to enable the tail log backup. Then we can click on next, then restore and check the restore progress from the jobs window as well as filtering the job type. In Power Protect Data Manager version 19.6 we have a good feature when we go to Infrastructure, Virtual Machine Assets, which is the ability to select the Windows Virtual Machine that hosts the SQL Virtual Machine, and apply more options on it. When adding this Windows Virtual Machine that hosts the SQL Virtual Machine, it will create Asset Source and will turn it into SQL Databases list as shows here. The good new feature is that we can install the agent manually from the Power Protect Data Manager instead of logging to the virtual machine and install it by choosing the virtual machine, then click on more actions then choose install agent. However the first time you will get this error because you haven't set the credentials for this particular virtual machine. So we need to add credentials by clicking on more actions then to set credentials then to save it. Now we can click again on more actions and select install agent then install it. The agent will be installed successfully without any errors. Thank you for watching.